Hello everyone, welcome back to the video and today I'm going to show you how to play with friends in Minecraft. Now I'm going to show you how to do it with no server, so you don't need to set a server up. And I'm going to show you how to set it up for Minecraft Java Edition. And it's actually very simple to do. All we need is one mod to make this work. So if you do find this video helpful, be sure to leave a like. Also hit that subscribe button as well, as I do upload lots of these tutorial videos. But we're actually going to get straight into the video. So what you're going to want to do is come to this website right here. I will leave a link in the description down below. And this is to the Essentials mod. So basically with this mod, you can actually just join your friends world. It's basically like running a Minecraft server, but you won't be running a server at all. You'll be running it on your own computer. So basically you would join your own world and then you can invite your friend and then your friend can join your world with you. So it's actually a very great mod. And uh, yeah, so basically when you're here, what you're gonna wanna do is come down to files just here, click on that and scroll down. So what you're gonna wanna do from here is actually download the fabric version. I have heard that forage doesn't really work that well. So I wouldn't recommend using this at the moment unless they have fixed that. But Fabric seems to work all right. Now this one here is for the version 1.16.5. But if you want to do the latest version of Minecraft, what you're going to want to do is just scroll down a bit more. And down here, as you can see, 1.21.1. That is the latest version at the moment for Minecraft. And this is for Fabric. And what we're going to want to do is click on the three little dots over here and then click on download file. So while this is downloading, if you want to get a Minecraft server to actually play with your friends, I recommend checking Apex Hosting as there you won't have any problems at all joining your servers and they'll always be running 24 7. They also do come with a DDoS protection so be sure to check them out the link in the description down below. We're also going to want to download the fabric loader as well so yeah we'll leave a link in the description down below to this website. So from here click on the download button and then again you're going to click on the download for windows click on that and that will download as well. There's one more thing I do want to mention that apparently with the essentials mod you can't actually play many other mods as they're not always supported. So when you're playing with this mod, you might just only want to play vanilla Minecraft as there has been problems with playing with other mods. And that is also with plugins. If you don't want to have any of those problems, be sure to check out Apex Hosting as there you won't have to have any of those problems at all. Or if you want a free Minecraft server, be sure to check out the video on the screen right now because there I show you how to set up a free Minecraft server so you can play with your friends. So now what you're going to want to do is actually head over to your downloads folder. So load up your Fire Explorer, which is usually down here on the hotbar. Click on that. Then what you're going to want to do is click on the downloads over here. Once you click on that, it will bring you to your downloads folder. Here we can see our two mods, well, our one essentials mod and our fabric installer. So just drag these out to your desktop, just like that. Also, one more thing, you might need to install Java. Now, I will leave a link on the screen and also in the description down below as well on how to install that. You will need to have that if you don't have it, as right here, we've got a coffee mug inside of this folder. Now, if you don't have a coffee mug in here, that is because you don't have Java installed. But if you do see a coffee mug in here, that is because you've got Java installed. And that is great. That is what you need. And you do need Java. So be sure to check out that video if you don't have Java. It's very easy to do and should only take about a couple of minutes or so to install. So what we're going to want to do first is actually install the Fabric installer. So double click on this file just here. And once this loads, what you're going to want to do is make sure it's got the right version in here. So my mod is 1.21.1. And what we're going to want to do is make sure this one here has got 1.21.1 as well. And also make sure it goes to your dot minecraft here as well but by default it should automatically select your dot minecraft folder just here then once that is all good make sure you click on the install button just down here this shouldn't take that long at all as you can see it's already done click on ok now click on the little x button just up here what we're going to want to do from here is now get rid of this fabric installer you can now delete that folder now what we're going to want to do is actually head over to our minecraft launcher so load up your minecraft launcher so now once your minecraft launcher loads up what you're going to want to do is actually make sure that you've got the fabric loader installed down here or selected now for me, I've actually got the fabric loader, but the wrong version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this little arrow button just here. And in here, I'm actually going to select the fabric loader 1.21.1. Select that. But if yours does not come up down here, what you're going to want to do is click on installations at the top here. Now in here, what you're going to want to do is make sure you've got the modded selected. So over here, you can see modded. Make sure that there is selected. And then you should see them come up in here. Now if you still don't see them come up in here, what you're going to want to do is click on new installation. And inside the versions, click in here. Scroll down until you find the fabric loader 1.21.1 just there. Select that. You can give it a name. Also give it an icon. Then click on create down here. But I've already got one, so I'm going to click on cancel. Mine is just here. So what I'm going to do now is just hover over this. Come to the end here. Click on the little file icon. Click on that. This will load up our .minecraft folder. In here, what we're going to want to do is actually find our mods folder, which is just here. Now, if you don't have a mods folder, you can easily make one, which I will show you how to do. So I'm going to delete my mods folder. I'll delete that. What I'm going to do is come to the side here, over here. Right click, hover over the new down here. Then come to folder, click on that. And in here, just simply just type mods, just like that. Type mods, all lowercase, and click on enter. And there we go. We have now got our mods folder in our .minecraft folder. 
So what we're going to do now is just double click into the mods folder and now we're actually going to drag in our essentials mod. So I'm going to minimize Minecraft. I'm going to drag it in just like that. Also, I almost forgot we actually want to download the Fabric API as well. So again, I will leave a link in the description down below to this website. So basically, you'll be on the page just like this. Hover over the files, come down, and what we're going to want to do is actually find the version we need, which is this one just here, 1.21.1, Fabric. Click on the three little dots, click on Download File. Now wait for this to download. Now what you're going to want to do is actually head over to your Downloads folder, which is in your Fire Explorer. Head to your Downloads folder, just drag this out to your desktop. Close this one out. Now head back over to your .minecraft mods folder then just drag in the API just like that as well. I apologize for that. I actually forgot to download that one as well. So we do need that. That is very important. Now once you've got these in here into your mods folder, just click on the little X button up here. Now head back over to your Minecraft launcher right here. Click on the little play button. Down here, make sure your version selected 1.21.1, the fabric loader. Click on play. Now once your Minecraft loads up, you'll probably see stuff that has changed on here. So basically over here, we can see that we've got my character over here. We've also got a wardrobe over here as well. So I'm guessing you can change your clothes if you want to. So we actually need to accept the uh, terms of service just here. So I'm going to accept that and click on confirm. And now it has brought us over to the store page. So we can actually get animations and things like that. Emotes and hats and things if you want to do that from in here. I'm going to click on the little back one over here. So I don't really want to do any of that. I just want to host a world so I can play with my friends. So what you're going to want to do to actually host your own world is come over to here, host world, just over here, click on that. And in here, you're going to select the world you want to actually host. So select the world and click on next. And now it's going to give you a warning, basically, it's going to use your IP to actually host your world. So it's up to you if you want to accept this. And um, yeah, I'm going to click on uh, proceed just here. And we can also select the uh, game modes just here. So I'm going to do survival. Actually, I'm going to do so creative because I don't want to fight any mobs. You can do a difficulty. You can do peaceful, normal, easy and hard. You can add on cheats if you want to. You can select the cheats. And you also got the share RP, which is here shares your resource pack with your friends if you want to do that as well. And um, yeah, what I'm going to do now is click on uh, next just here, click on that. Now you can invite friends. Now I don't have any friends in here, uh, as I don't have any friends, sadly. But if you do have friends in here, you can simply invite them, which is actually very simple. And I will show a little video on the screen on how to invite them, which is very easy to do. And what you're going to want to do there is just click on host world. Now I'm actually going to go back. I'm actually going to show you how to add a friend. So what you're going to want to do is come over here onto social, click on that. And in here, what you're going to want to do is click on add friend up here. And simply what you can do is just enter their Minecraft username to add them. So whatever their username is, you can just type this in here and click on add. Now I do want to say that your friend does need this mod installed as well to make this all work. So make sure your friend does have the essentials mod as well. So show them this video on how to install it. And uh, yeah, if your friend's got this mod, then you can play with them. And basically your friend's username is just up here, by the way. So if you want to see your game attack, there it is just there. So whatever your friend's name is, just simply come to social, add friend, and just type it in here and click on add. So that is how you add friends from in here. Then once you've got friends in here, you can seem to just chat or see all your friends that are on here. Also, you can see your friends requests on here and blocked players. And what you can do from here is go back, click on uh, host world, just host your own world. And um, yeah, simply click on next, host world. And now once you click on the host world, it will load into your world. So I'm actually inside my world right now and your friend will be able to join in as well with you. So that is how you play with your friends in Minecraft, a Java edition. Very easy to do. It makes it a lot easier to play with your friends without setting any servers up. But I do want to say this world won't be on 24-7. It will only be active when you are playing on it. And that is only when your friend can join if you are only playing on your world. But if you do want to server up 24-7, be sure to check one of these videos here on the screen. So if this video was helpful for you, be sure to leave a like. Also hit that subscribe button as well. And that is it for this video and I'll see you all in my next one.